All right, here we go. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I think they're talking about me. Because I am the fifth year. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food. Like that poor man from the ministry. Nelly, why did you end up with the first day? Room, everyone. She gets bolder every year. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to Cressida Bloom. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Um... No? No, I, I merely studied with him briefly before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I'm sure you'll get Don't it. Don't worry. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Now, how hard is it? Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. All right, so non-verbal casting is going to be in the sixth year. So next year, since we are in year five. Nelly will do Nelly. Okay, we got Gareth and Nelly <laughs> left. Be the next butterbeer. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. That must be nice, actually. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Okay, what is he drinking? Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Thank you. All right, so we still got Nelly. Where is Nelly? Okay, what is this? Oh, cool, huh? I could eat an apple. Okay, there is Nelly. Sure Nelly you weren't do born anything with wings, for attention. Nelly. I'm sure you'd use them. <laughs> okay, Nelly, get, come down here, maybe. Nelly, 
Nelly will do anything. Nelly will do anything right in the moment. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Should we tell her? Yeah. Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Okay, what can we ask you? What are people saying about my travels here? Yeah. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Yeah, she's a little crazy, I think. Not afraid of heights. She climbed to the roof of Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. No. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Thank you. But I think that dragon attacked the carriage because he wanted the key, right? Not because he wanted us. Okay, let's see what Professor Weasley wants. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. It's a book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right, so she gave me a book and all the pages flew out. So this way, I'm guessing we're going to have to be looking for them. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding rebellion. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, 
The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. <laughs> oh man, he's sitting Should on somebody. Revelio. Revelio. And we'll see what the guide says. Okay, so that this is the way we get XP. Okay, so we got a bunch of different challenges that we have to go through. All right, so we're gonna be looking for these all over the place, I guess. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay, so that's gonna be only inside the castle, I guess, or, or, or around Hogwarts. Can I pet you? I can. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. So these are the spells that we can unlock. And so far we only have Lumos. Can we run? Go a little bit quicker. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. So Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. All right. Select the South Wings region to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the locations of undiscovered flames. So I guess it's just fast travel, right? So the right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. All right, select the library annex region to continue. And we're gonna go to the green one, I guess. Professor Weezy has unlocked the central hall flu flame for us. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Yeah, the defense against the dark arts 
really interests me. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Yeah, sounds really cool. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Should I tell her? Let's tell her. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I can't wait to get my own wand. Let's see what Professor Fig has to say. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I think I should apologize. I mean, I shouldn't have said anything. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Hey, what am I looking for? So we're gonna go to... Charms or defense? Let's go to the defense of the, against the dark arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, 
Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. And I can't wait to get my own wand. I really can't. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, we get to learn Levioso. Nice. We can lift things up now. Levioso. That's actually really nice, really cool. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, well done. Okay, that is actually really cool. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. Let's Protego. A perfectly executed Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. All right, Sebastian. That wasn't. You're Not actually really bad easy for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I noticed that the basic spell doesn't always work. I don't know if I, I'm doing it too quickly. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, so All we got right. We That's got a new spell. That's enough spectacle for one day. 
Class is dismissed. What can you tell me? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Okay, let's talk to Sebastian. Nice see what, work. See what he can tell I us. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallo, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Kind of like a fight club, I guess. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay, we're Until next time. We're definitely interested. So we're gonna go to the other class now. So the field guide map shows Professor Ronan's, Ronan's class in the astronomy wing. So we're gonna go to Charm's class. Revelio. Okay, we got a page here as well. So let's let's get that. So this large dragon skeleton hangs in the defense against the dark star. Classroom is la allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Eckert after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Revelio. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Charms class. an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. 
Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, so we got Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I like this guy. He's so happy. I think he's one of my favorite profs so far in this game. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Okay, what do I do? How do I play? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Akio, the trick is to pull the... Excellent control there. Oh, okay. But that was actually really close. Splendid! There we go. I got this. Hold on, you're in my way. Okay. Very good. No! Oh! Stay focused. All right. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. All right, I want to be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to try to kick your butt. Hey, go first. Where do I go? Okay. Yes! I wonder if I can knock her down. Oh no! Excellent control there. Let us see this. There we go. Okay, I need to do this a little bit harder. Shh. Okay, not like that, not like that. Okay, she got 50 twice, so I need to knock this one down. That is how it's done. And then uh, keep mine on there. Stay! Oh, man. Darn it. Rematch, come on. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Oh man! It happens to the best of us. Damn it! What's this? There you go. I helped her, unfortunately. Let us see this. I think I'm gonna lose this. Phew. See, maybe I could knock it off again. making this easy for me are you all right we got this one it was close though very good both of you well done man i was hoping to win all three challenges but class is dismissed gather your things on the way out Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. I have to admit, I like the wand. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Okay, let's talk course, to the professor. You can use Akio on humans. But that was a fun game, though. If you're so inclined. A word, if yeah. you would. It's too you bad we're not gonna get to play um, to be precise, Quidditch. Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? 
You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Sounds like fun. I, I always hated extracurricular assignments, though. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't Hello. you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. So we got a new side quest. What is it? Okay, so that's the main quest, which is, which is, we we have to go speak to Professor Weasley after class, I guess. But I want to see what else we got here. I'm just gonna explore the castle for a bit and see what I can find. Rebellion. Okay, what is this? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um, how can I get a... get around this question? Probably this... Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. 
I've noticed you spending time with them. So who would I want to go with? Sebastian or Natty? Let's go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. So, let's go meet the professor, because I want to do the assignment. And I'd like to... What's my first assignment? Yeah, assignments. Okay, I want to do my first assignment, because I'd like to go and get my brand new one. So let's see what this guy wants from me. Professor Ronan. I ah, like, there you are. I like you, professor. You have a new spell to teach me, professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. So we need to collect the flying page near the broken statue. And collect the flying page in the defense tower. In, in the defense against the dark arts tower. Alright, so we got... Two pages to collect, I guess. This we is the this right one. area. I wonder where the flying page is. It's right there. Revelio. Right? Yeah, it's right there. How do I get it though? Oh, I know how. Accio. Got it. We can use Accio, right? Okay, we got one more page. Where is it? Flying page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? Akio. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that yeah, was easy it's enough. Two cookies simply because you had one victory over Salad. He never backs down. I trust the preliminary tasks. Were I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. All right, we got repair all. We can repair stuff. This is gonna be really, really useful. That's it, very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Can I repair this? 
I'm going to try. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> That's just beautiful. Oh man. All right, let's go meet Sebastian, and we're gonna go get my brand new one. There's a chest here somewhere. Revelio. Is there something here? There is not. But okay. There's Sebastian. We're gonna go to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Yes, please, let's go. And that looks great. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. So are we gonna run there? Or can Speaking we fly? Of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could look service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. All right, it so looks like we're just gonna run. To the librarian's bad side. Well, I thought we were gonna jump on a broom and a matter of differing opinions. get there in a jiffy, but she thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. Not this section. time. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. All right, we got some squeaking flowers, which are pretty nice. Beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. That is just gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. France, Hoof and Sugarfoot. 
To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. I bet we're gonna go into the Forbidden Forest. We're gonna go to the Forbidden section of the library. I hope we do. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Revelio. I'm definitely gonna explore the castle once I get my wand. Grim, though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Oh, there's another cat. So there's a lot of little side paths here we can take, which is going to be Mr. a Moon. lot of fun to explore. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Huh? Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Revelio. Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! Thank you, much appreciated. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Revelio, Mr. Moon is quite the garret. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister? Okay, so we can collect too. Moonstone, okay. She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. There we go. There's Hogsmeade. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic... Revelio. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Let's go to Ollivander's. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Alright, so there's lots of stuff here. Man, this is just... This is just great. And we are right by Ollivander, so let's go get the wand. Just over there, but... What is this? Okay, I can't pick this lock. Be right with ah it's you um just a moment please uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not 
Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Yes, please. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. That's not the How one. Odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Not this one either. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, looks like this is the one. And I can customize it, okay. Classic gray. Is there more colors? Curious indeed. I don't like that one. Oh, definitely not this one. How intriguing. I think I like this one. Or this one. Let's try a different color. Curious indeed. I like I like this one actually. Yeah, I don't know much about wood type. How intriguing. I wonder if that this changes anything about the powers of the wand. So powerful magic, consistent magic, or great range of magic. So do I want the phoenix feather? Unicorn hair or the dragon heart I think I'm gonna go for the phoenix feather. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. I like this one. I think this is what I'm going to go with. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right. Man, I'm excited. I got my... Can I search this, or is he going to accuse me of stealing? No. I'm excited I got my wand. I really am. All right, so we're going to go... Tomes and scrolls, and then potions and magic need. So, let's see where they are. We got a joke shop. I'm gonna visit that eventually as well. So we got potions here. Let's go. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Revelio. I saw a page here. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? All right, so we'll be able to get some what potions here. What can I do here. for you today? Let's see what we got. So a recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. So let's get this since it costs us nothing and this is the healing potion also costs nothing feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today well, is there anything I want right now I think for now, I don't really know what I need, so I'm going to leave it. Thunder Brew. Yeah, I don't know what these will be used for yet, but I'm pretty sure they will be useful eventually. And I can't buy any more recipes, so I'll be back here. Rebellion. It's weird that I can like search the chests here and... Nobody suspects anything. So we got the magic neep and the scrolls. All right. Let's see where they are. So the magic neep is right here, I think, right? Well, hello there. Rebellion. There's a page right here. All 
All right, Timothy, what can you tell us? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. So Dittany seeds unlock the ability to grow Dittany in a small pot. And it costs us nothing right now. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. And I'm sure I'm going to need these, eventually. Okay, and now we have the scrolls. So where is that? Right here, right? And there's all these other places that we can visit, so... And this is going to be a lot of fun. What is this? Oh, nice. Really nice. I wish I could cut my grass that way. House elves and wizard time's best friend. Everything is locked, though. So I want to get that ability to pick locks. An inquiring mind. Rebellion. Is there anything here? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? So, potion station, yeah. I will need this. And we have the pot. Table with a small pot spellcraft. If right. you're interested, Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Can't afford any of this right now. Okay, let's see what Seba's up to. Officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? 
I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. All right, that's bad. Oh yeah, that's bad. And he's glowing as well. Okay, so there's two of them. Okay, I didn't dodge. That was bad. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Let me Alright, we got him. I did not know I could do that. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Okay, so I'm guessing Reparo here? Accio. Not Accio, sorry, repair. Uh, a moment in your I'll go and see what he wants. Hey, wait, there's a page here too. Rebellion. I'm gonna repair everything I need to hear. Repair. One less thing for us to sing to worry about.
Repair her. Okay, there's one more. Where is it? I guess this would be it. That's something huge. We just fixed the building. That's that's beautiful. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Um, thank you. I'll take it. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, he's got a lot of nice clothes, but we can't afford anything yet. But we look good. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle 